Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It is 7.49 a.m. I just put the wheatgrass on the play rug in the living room. Boo's on free roam. And I thought he might either play with it or eat some of it. I have to finish getting ready for my day and I thought this would be a good way to keep him occupied while I do that. One of his toys is in there, so... He's been in there since yesterday. Does he not know? Boo! What is that? What is that, Boo? You don't want to get your toy? Where's your toy? I like the fact that this is a big tray of wheatgrass because that is what I wanted for the cats. I mean, they're not outside, obviously. So it's really like bringing a little bit of the outside in in a good way. It's really grown big and lush. And so far it's been really good because I haven't had to do a whole lot to care for it. I have sprayed water on it from like a spray bottle, but that's all I've really done. So today would be day 11 for this. Normally when I buy wheatgrass in the store, it lasts between 15 and 17 days. So if I could get this to last longer than 15 or 17 days, I think that would be really great. I wouldn't mind making like a tray of this every month, like one a month. What are you doing, boo? I just put some of his feather toys in the grass. Let's see if he goes after them. Oh, yep, took it right out. He's a smart cat. You're a smart boy, boo, right? Yeah, you're smart. Wanna get the other one? It is 9.54 a.m. I just gave Boo his breakfast. He's in his room. I let the other cats up. I'm giving them the wheatgrass. It still has Boo's toys in it. It's really big. This wheatgrass is so tall. Simba like standing in it. I put the wheatgrass here at the top of the steps because I thought Splash might enjoy it here. And yeah, he was eating the wheatgrass here. Stella was eating the wheatgrass here. I guess uh, Splash feels safer eating it here. When I walk over with the camera, he moves down a few steps. Stella, I know you don't get along very well with Boo. And I just want to let you know that you're not going to have any more kittens, okay, Stella? You're not going to have any more kittens. You had all of your kittens already. You don't have to have any more kittens. So you could be nice to Boo now, Stella. Because Boo's not going to give you any more kittens, okay? Stella. Stella, are you listening? Stella, your tail's in the food. Stella, I'm telling you that Boo is not going to give you any more kittens, okay? You're not going to have any more kittens. You were spayed. You don't remember being spayed because you were unconscious. They put you in a state of unconsciousness 
so you don't feel the pain. And then they spay you. So that way you don't have any more kittens and you don't have to go through the horrible ordeal that you went through when you had these kittens. Yeah, so then when you wake up, you really don't know what happened and you don't remember because they make you unconscious. And then that's why you had the, uh, that's why all of your fur was shaved on your belly. And that's why you had the scar on your belly. But now you're all healed and you're fine. And now you can be nice to Boo because Boo is not going to make you have any more kittens, right, Stella? No more kittens for you. You had enough. You said, I had enough kittens. And that was a stressful ordeal. And you don't have to have any more kittens, Stella. Boo is not going to do that to you anymore, okay? So that means you can be nice to him. You can be nice to Boo. Okay, Stella? You can be nice to Boo. You're not going to have any more kittens. But you like Splash and Simba. Ugh, her tail's all wet. I think Stella seems happy right now. I think she understands. Stella, you could be nice to Boo because you're not going to have any more kittens. No matter what, you're not having any more kittens. You're done with your kittens. You did a good job with Splash and Simba. That was a lot of work, wasn't it? That was a lot of work. Stella nursed those kittens for like six months. Now she's cleaning her tail because she realizes that it's all full of food. She needs to stop putting her tail in the food. It's 10.45 a.m. and I just came outside to give Hijack some food. Here he is, hanging out in the sun. It is really, really cold today. Right now the thermometer says it's 22 degrees. I was out earlier and it was way colder than that. It was like 12. I just gave Hydrox half a can of food and also some fresh water. Hydrox is eating spoon. I'm only giving him half of a can because he has the dry food out of the automatic feeder. If he did not have that, I would give him more than half a can. But I've been seeing him eat that, so I don't want to just you know, waste this food because I know if he doesn't eat it, all the birds are going to swoop down and eat it. It is mail time and we have a whole bunch of mail to open today. Okay, let's start small and work our way big. Now, I started opening this envelope, but then I realized that I did not have the camera on. So that's why it's already torn open. Simba's here to see what's going on. Somebody gonna help me open? Gonna help me open packages? What do we have here? Oh my gosh, look, it's a card that looks almost just like Simba. Look how cute. It's like a little, it's like a Valentine's Day cowboy hat. That's cute. I wish I had one of those for Simba. Check this out. Oh, PetSmart. Oh, that's awesome. $10 PetSmart gift card. That is so cool. From Tim, Shauna, and Tick Tick. It says, no animals were harmed in the making of this Valentine's Day card. One cat, however, was made to feel like a complete idiot. <laughs> That's so true. Saw this card and couldn't help but think of Simba. Well wishes to you and all the kitties from Tim, Shauna, and Tig Tig. Well, thank you so much, Tim, Shauna, and Tig Tig. That was very nice of you, and that's a really cute card. I'm gonna put it downstairs in Simba's room. Simba doesn't really have his own room, but the other cats, they all love uh, the main room downstairs, so I'll put this down there and, uh, so we could think he's famous. Okay, then we have this package. Oh, this is cool. What do we have? This is an external hard drive case. I love these cases. Um, I already have one in one of my hard drives, but I do have one or two hard drives that still need cases. So thank you so much for this case. I love using these. These are great. Then there's also a packet of seeds of forget-me-not heirloom variety seeds. Oh, those will be nice. I'll plant those outside. And then here's a note. It says, Dear LF, this is for you, the cats, and your business. Hope it is not 
too cold there with all the snow. It is pretty sunny here in Northern California. Best wishes, Colleen, Felix, and Fanny. Well, thank you so much, guys. That is really nice of you to send these along. Do cats like forget-me-nots? I really don't know much about these uh, plants. I'll have to look into how to grow these. When can I plant them, does it say? It says, in early spring, sow seeds in moist, somewhat acid soil. Maintain even moisture. Fertilize every other month during the growing season. So um, I guess I can't plant these for a few few months now. But uh, thank you so much, Colleen, Felix, and Fanny. That's awesome. This will definitely be put to use. Then we have this next envelope. I'm opening it near Simba so he could help me. He jumped down off the cat tower. What do we have, Simba? What is it? What is it, Simba? What'd you get, Simba? It says, hi, Lucky, enjoy your gift from Janet Stemper. What do we have? We have a sensor push, smart sensor, humidity, and temperature. It says it tracks temperature and humidity over time regularly updates your smartphone and tablets and even sends you alerts if there's a problem. Works with iOS 8 Plus, Android 5.0 Plus, and the Sensor Push G1 Wi-Fi Gateway. Download the app to get started. I was looking for some kind of remote thermometer that I could put in Hydrox's cat shelter or like right outside of his cat shelter in the sunroom to kind of monitor uh, the temperatures there just because I'm really curious of what kind of temperatures uh, it's getting. I'm super curious about what kind of temperatures are going on inside of his cat house, but the problem is for me to get inside of his cat house, like I have to pull everything out. I have to pull the sunroom out. I have to pull the vestibules out. I have to pull the cat house out and then I got to take the roof off. So it is like a big undertaking and it's very, very disruptive. So I really don't want to do that now until the weather gets better. But in the meantime, I'm thinking what I would like to do is put this down um, kind of where I have that thermometer down there, like maybe um, tuck it as far in as I can, like to be like uh, as close to the inside of the shelter as I can make it, just so I could get uh, an estimate of what's going on there. I don't know, I just really like data like that. So thank you so much, Janet. This is awesome. Simba went back to his cat grass, so I'm just going to continue without any cats. I think I just, I think I just slit this bag open. I'm gonna have to go grab some tape. Okay, I just taped up the bag, so that should be good. We have a bag of Blue Wilderness, high protein, grain free, Rocky Mountain recipe with trout and life source bits, uh, adult formula, no chicken or poultry byproduct meals, corn, wheat, or soy, artificial preservatives or flavor, so that's really good. They love, they do love the uh, Blue Wilderness dry food. And it has a lot of the same information as the other bag. This is high quality protein, trout, chicken meal, and fish meal. Healthy, complex carbohydrates, peas, potatoes, and sweet potatoes. Antioxidant ranch fruits and vegetables, carrots, cranberries, and blueberries. So that is awesome. I love those ingredients. So let's see what they put in this trout formula. It is deboned trout, chicken meal, pea protein, Tapioca starch, peas, chicken fat, preserved with mixed acoferols, Manhattan fish meal, source of omega-3 fatty acids, pea fiber, flax seed, source of omega-6 fatty acids, natural flavor, calcium sulfate, choline chloride, DL-methionine, dehydrated alfalfa meal, potassium chloride potatoes, and then it goes into all kinds of vitamins, and um, actually sweet potatoes, carrots, and then all kinds of vitamins and minerals, and then cranberries, blueberries, barley grass, parsley, dried kelp, turmeric. I mean, these are such great ingredients. I'm so happy that companies uh, are making products like this versus a lot of the other products that we see on the market. This is Hi Lucky. The furry buddies love their kitty crack crunchies, so here are a couple different flavors to tantalize their taste buds. Bad Billy. Thank you so much, Bad Billy. They certainly love this food, and this will be great for them to be able to try different varieties of it. Um, this is really awesome. Thank you. Okay, then we have this box. It 
It says, hi Lucky, enjoy your gift from Janet Stemper. And Simba has decided to return. Hey Simba. We have a few things here. We have the complete first season of Alice on DVD. I love this show. I used to love the show. I haven't seen this show in so long. I can't even remember. I can't wait to watch this. If you've never seen Alice, it's the story of Mel's diner. This is Mel and uh, this is Alice, Flo and Vera and they are the waitresses in the diner and it's so funny. I think it was from the 70s or the 80s. I don't remember exactly. I remember we watched this when I was growing up. Okay, yeah, it says on this it says 1976-1977, so that would be from the 70s. It says, Alice is the story of Alice Hyatt, played by Linda Lavin, a recently widowed single mom who finds herself working as a waitress at an Arizona diner while caring for her preteen son, Tommy, played by Philip McKeon. The inimitable Vic Tabak plays Mel, the gruff owner of the diner, while Beth Howland and Polly Holiday play her co-workers, Neurotic Vera, and a no-nonsense flow. This three-disc, 24-episode collection collects the entire first season of the bicentennial era breakout hit, including the rarely seen pilot episode featuring Alfred Lutter from Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, the film inspiration for Alice. Guest stars include Batman's Adam West, Victor Buono, and Dark Shadow's Laura Parker. It'll be really fun to watch this, and right now is really the perfect time of year for it since the weather is so, like, cold and horrible out. And what do we have here? It says meal prep. Mealprepsociety.com Oh, oh, I know what these are. <gasps> these are so cool. Check it out, check it out. These are glass food storage containers and they have three compartments and they have the really nice cover with like a gasket seal so um you can put stuff with liquids and it doesn't leak i love that because i'm always bringing stuff that's kind of juicy and if i don't use containers that are leak proof like this then it gets all over the place and this is what the containers look like. They have like three compartments and I think this compartment is just slightly larger than these two compartments. I am definitely going to use these uh, for my lunch every day and possibly even for my breakfast every day. I normally only eat fruit for breakfast and with something like this, I could you know, prep all the fruit the night before. I usually cut it up. Um, and a lot of times I do like to have two or three different kinds of fruit. Um, so I could put everything in here, put the lid on it, store it in the refrigerator, and uh, I don't have to worry about, you know, like the acids from the fruit uh, leaching into plastic and stuff like that. So this is great. Thank you so much for these. I am most likely even going to use one today for my lunch. I'm so psyched. Thank you. It was very nice of you to purchase these off of my Amazon wish list. Thank you so much. What is this? It's a box inside of a box. It says, hi Lucky, this is for Simba, so he has a round bed too from Kimberly and Tinkerbell. Oh my gosh. Wow. Check it out guys, Simba has his own bed now also. So I could put this downstairs on the sofa between the other two round beds and then I could take that like rectangle bed and put that on the ottoman. So there will actually now be four beds downstairs. So we know what that means. It means there'll be an empty bed at all times waiting for the fourth cat to uh, learn how to play nicely with the other cats. Then they could all four of them lay in beds together. 
Thank you so much, Kimberly and Tinkerbell. All right, last box. What do we have here? Oh wow, cat food, yay. It looks like a whole case of the uh, Pride by Instinct Champs Chicken Flaked Formula. That's awesome. It says, hi Lucky, hope this is useful to you and that the worst of the cold is over. Lisa Hart. And it says, hi LF, wishing you and the cats the best in 2018, Lisa Hart. Well, thank you so much, Lisa Hart. That is so nice of you. Uh, to send over food for the cats. It is always really appreciated. It makes it so much easier for me um, than having to go out and buy some and pick it up. It's a real time saver. And of course it's a money saver also. This says, this is a set, do not separate. Oh, oh, check it out. Accurate temperature and humidity sensor. Oh, this is so cool. Here's another temperature and humidity sensor. Here's a third temperature and humidity sensor. And this is the base unit display. This is awesome. Thank you so much, Lisa. So this is the base unit and it hooks up to three of these temperature sensors. And you could put the temperature sensors anywhere you want. Like I could put one of these in Hydrox's sunroom, for example. I could put one in uh, my new greenhouse outside and I could put one in like the basement where the cats are. And then here on like the base unit, it tells you the temperature and humidity of each sensor where it's located and it also tells you the temperature and humidity where the base unit is. So I think this is like the coolest thing, again, just because I love data like this. I don't know, it's just maybe all the science classes that I took, um, but I think this is so cool. So now um, I could use this to monitor all the outside temperatures from inside. So that makes everything super convenient and I totally love this and I can't wait to start using it. Um, so thank you so much, Lisa, for this. It is awesome. Now the difference between a set like this and something like the Sensor Push is the Sensor Push has an app um, on the phone so you can monitor this from your phone. Whereas with something like this, there's no app. You can monitor it from the base unit. Um, so it is a little bit different. And I am really curious to see how the two different products compare in their features, um, in their accuracy, and also in just their um, levels of convenience. So um, this is really cool. Like with something like this, you know, since you have an app on your phone, you can honestly just be lying in bed. You could wake up in the morning and be, okay, I wonder what the temperature is like in Hydrox's sunroom and just check it on your phone. Whereas with something like this, unless you have the base unit right near you, you're not able to check the temperatures that easily, but this has like really cool features otherwise. So uh, I think they're all, they're all really awesome items and I am just gonna totally geek out with all of this data. Thanks again, guys. Guys, it's so funny. I wish you could see what's going on here. So I have Simba's new round bed in my hand and I'm taking it downstairs and he's literally like falling every step I take and he's rubbing against every corner of like every wall as I'm coming down here. And there we have it, three cat beds on the sofa. They have officially taken over yet another part of the house. I move the rectangle bed over to the ottoman. So there's that bed, there's this bed, there's this bed, and there's this bed. Four beds for three cats. But if the one cat upstairs behaves better, he could hang out here. And this is why I wanted a full tray of cat grass. Because I know how much these cats love laying on the scratch and roll, which is the fake cat grass. Look what Simba's doing to the cat grass. I put the cat grass near the back door because I know they like looking outside. 
and he's laying in the cat grass. This is awesome. I wonder if I could get larger trays. I don't really have room for larger trays. I mean, obviously I have room to put the trays somewhere dark where it can germinate, but I really don't have any place to put the larger trays like in the sun. But if I had a tray that was like maybe, let's say three times the size of that, so he could just like totally lay on the whole thing, then you don't have to be concerned about bugs or fleas or ticks or anything because the grass was grown inside. They could eat it. I have to think about that. Maybe I should do that. Maybe I'll just construct a larger tray. A large tray of cat grass. Simba, are you a happy boy? Simba, are you a happy boy? Simba, you're happy in the grass? Happy in the grass? Do you like this laying in the grass? You like laying in the grass? The only thing is, like this grass, really needs to be mowed. It's really long. Like this grass is way longer than the lawn would be. What I could do is I could actually take some scissors and trim down this grass. And then the grass that I trim down, I can put in my dehydrator and I can dry it up and I can make my own wheatgrass powder from it. So instead of having to buy wheatgrass powder for the cats, I can end up making my own wheatgrass powder. So I think this growing my own wheatgrass thing is a win-win all around if I can do that. Hello. He looks so happy here and I don't want to disturb him. So I'm going to have to go out the front door instead right now. He's gonna fall asleep. Somebody's gonna take a nap here.
I just woke Simba up. I'm making a lot of noise outside, I guess. I just set up today's live stream, but look at Boo. Look how Boo is sleeping with his toy. He's sleeping with that cat charmer wrapped around him like a scarf. Look at this. He has a few toys, like that one string. There's a toy up there. That's his fish toy. But then he has that cat charmer. He's sleeping with the cat charmer. It's about 3.51 p.m. I am in my office, just about to eat my lunch. I love these containers. I have some jackfruit, apples, navel oranges, and a few maraschino cherries. Right now it is 7.18 at night. I just got home and I think these temperatures are really interesting. The green temperature, the number under the green bar, is Hydrox's little house under there. It's the outside of his house right now. So I put a sensor in the outside corner of his house, like under the sunroom above a brick. And it's 42 degrees. Now the fact that it's resting on a brick might affect the sensor, but uh, it's the best I could do right now. The 31 degrees in the blue is the new greenhouse. The 34 degrees in the orange is the side of the garage. I would think that the greenhouse would be warmer than the side of the garage, but I guess it's not. It has more humidity. The humidity is 66% versus the 42%. And then the yellow number, the 69, is this unit itself inside the house. It is 7.35 p.m. and we just ended a live stream in Boo's room. And I want to give a shout out to today's super chatters. Um, I want to shout out to Smarty Plum for her 10 pound donation. She was our first stream boss today. And another shout out to the Funkadelic Fan for another 10 pound donation. He says, I hate YouTube. And he was our third stream boss today. So thank you guys so much for the super chats. And then there are more shout outs on Streamlabs. I don't know the best way to display those yet. So shout out to Paul Carey for your donation of $4.72 today. And a shout out to Marilyn Young for her $10 donation. And she was our second stream boss today. So um, thanks again, guys, for watching the live streams. And thank you so much for the generous donations. It really helps to pay for cat supplies and the cost of live stream and video editing supplies also. I really need to trim down this wheatgrass. Hey boo. I really need to trim down this wheatgrass, but I feel like now it's just like such a mess. Like it's not easy to do that. So I might just kind of leave this as a science experiment and just see how tall can wheatgrass grow? I mean, it's really, it is so lush. It's like a grass carpet. And Simba really did a good job of squashing it. It's probably around 7.45 or 7.50 and I just gave Hydrox half a can of food and I filled up his water. I don't see him around, but I'm just giving him some food right now anyway.
brush time for Boo. Come on, Boo. Brush time? Time for brushes. He still paces back and forth when I brush him. Thank you for watching this Lucky Earl's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.